where you going? What are you drinking tonight? Let's keep them flowing. Where do you come from? Where are you going? What are you feeling tonight? And what are you showing? Where do you come from? 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 Where are you going? What are you drinking tonight? Let's keep on flowing. Hello and welcome. Look at me sitting up on my chair. Get my I know dog your breakfast. dog. You got, you got a big dog. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, welcome. We are Cloud and Console, a cloud gaming podcast that gives you everything you need to know about cloud gaming. This week, I am joined as always by Nads six one four in the house, giving the cloud gaming news as usual what's going on we got d wilson purple haze as well as the maker of chaos himself thanks all for jumping on in oh you just yes, got the cosmo cannon we have got some talking to do did you <laughs> oh my gosh did you have the red transformation maker i hope i didn't spoil anything but oh my goodness we need to talk if that happened right Rain. What's going on? Thanks for stopping on by. I hope you're enjoying some GeForce now and you're not playing in class, right? <laughs> yes, yes. You don't want to be doing that. Uh, oh, not yet, not yet. Well, I didn't say anything. Nothing happens. But uh, once you get there, let me know. <laughs> uh, but let's let's jump into it like we always do. Yes. Uh, what have you been gaming on this week? What's been going on? Uh, mainly, I've been playing, uh, as usual, some Destiny 2. Uh, I finally got the All-Star Skimmer, so now I can spare around for the rest of the year. Uh, hopefully, they can have like new one. Thanks for N7 and Sam for like helping me to get it. Uh, I think I got it, was it yesterday or the day before, but yeah, it was pretty cool that I was able to get it because uh, i was grinding for it and i finished the uh activity pass or whatever they call it the uh seasonal card yeah so i finished that so it's all complete uh now we moving on to this week is gonna, gonna be much going on in destiny 2 other than a lot of live stream which we're gonna talk about in a few minutes uh, other than that, I've been playing some L Diver with you. We did some run with like some uh, super sample, and which like, it, funny enough, we did a run before that, and I was dying all the time. And then we did this run with the super sample, and it was like, it went well. I don't know why, but yeah, uh, <laughs> it was kind of weird. It's because but. we had the maker of chaos backing us up in there. So GG's to make her as well. Cool. And we had he was running around and doing everything. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
uh lucky lucky you know we have uh maker coming in tomorrow with us as well grabbing some I... more super samples so we can chase that up there we go so that's awesome yes uh and uh, I, I played some uh fall guys with purple just like uh half an hour ago and uh, uh, so and uh, it was a lot of fun quite interesting game i played it before but i never really got into it i was trying to figure out the button and as soon as i was able to figure out the grabbing uh i was grabbing everyone so <laughs> and then she's complaining about it. Who's grabbing? Okay. <laughs> but, uh, it was a good time. That was awesome. <laughs> I like to jump in there when I can. Unfortunately, I was a little bit busy at the moment, but uh, I had fun in chat, you know, uh, talking yeah. about Gandalf. You know, I know he has right? no powers. <laughs> he has no powers, bro. That was just no funny. I know, I know you're causing trouble there. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> There's Rudig. I brought about. this. I brought this opinion up to a group of people at one time when they were talking at a party because I actually feel this way. And they were like, <laughs> they were going about Lord of the Rings and all this stuff. And I was like, Gandalf, bro, he's got no powers. I'm like, what's, <laughs> what does he do with that wand? It's more of a cane than a wand, bro, for him to get around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <All right. laughs> That's the thing. They don't show how much powerful he is uh, in the movie. It didn't go yeah. over well. No. And, and <laughs> Jana says that wasn't a great move on my half. But hey. <laughs> then you, you were a party pooper. That's what happened. Right? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Um, other game I've been playing is Baldur's Gate 3 with USBG again. Uh, we're going to chase it up again this week. That was awesome. Uh, <laughs> purple is like coming back, saying out of control and acceptable. Perfectly acceptable. Perfectly acceptable. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Baldur's, Baldur's Gate 3, that was awesome again. Like every time we play, we get to the next step. It's always a lot of fun. Uh, it's amazing, but yeah. And the last game I'll mention that I've been playing this week is Sons of the Forest. Again, survival game, amazing game. Um, if you know, yeah, haven't seen this, uh, it was completely released. Uh, it's out of beta. It's now like a version 1.0. Um, yeah, uh, or like maybe IRD, like. They kind of update it every so often, but very fun game. I got some gameplay to show uh, as uh, later for our uh, clip of the week. But yeah, so that's pretty much what I've been playing. Please tell me what you've been playing this week there, uh, Rudigs. <laughs> well, uh, we've been getting into some Helldivers 2, like you said. Got into some this morning as well with N7. Uh, as well as I do family game night on the Wednesdays. So I got into the brand new season of Fortnite. Yeah. Uh, able to try out the the whip of Hades. I was flying around on the wings. Uh, as well as some bolt and some lightning. Um, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth has definitely been a lot of fun. Um, each moment huge productions in each of the transitions as well as mini stories uh they're switching up the, the variety of missions through each level type so i'm not doing the same mini games over and over again they're different mini games through each different transition which is really cool uh it makes me want to go back and play the original sometime when i'm i'm just yeah. like have a handheld so i can see the differences that they made because i'm so sure. curious or like you uh, cannot play uh, Crisis Core. It, it, yes, I need to get, play that. Whenever like you're done with Rebirth, just go play Crisis Core. Just, just go check it out. It's gonna be like a, a moment of realization. Hopefully, in the Rebirth, they show that part from Crisis Core because Crisis Core came out after Final Fantasy VII, just to kind of, kind of close some gap. Um, but yeah, hopefully, like you can do that uh that would be good yeah i definitely need to see more of that and uh what's going on rain he's asked did you know runescape has a huge player base or a it's bug still, player still base one of the bug. two i didn't know i know runescape is still has a lot of people playing it uh very uh it, it's so funny because this game has been on for so many years 
I personally didn't play it, but I have a lot of, uh, uh, and I know a lot of other people that that have played it a lot. It's like a MMORPG, right? Doesn't need much to run it either. Like you can run it on a, a very low base computer uh, that because it's just like runs so easily. It's like most of the character are all hexagon, right? So, uh, but yeah, uh, it, it. I didn't know they were still having some issue with it. Uh, Maybe is it like a bug that basically doesn't show all the players something? But oh well. Hopefully, and then uh, we got Family like Cloud Gaming in the house as well. Yes. So what up? What up? Uh, yes, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth has been great. Um, so I hope I didn't spoil anything for you, Maker. It's just a minor change in what happens, and I need to talk about it because it is bugging me. It is bugging me beyond no tomorrow. It must be something that translates well in Japanese culture and <laughs> and how they produced it and something that doesn't translate well in English. It's one of those situations where I just can't understand what's going on. Um, That's funny. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm almost done uh, Cosmo Canon. Um, did some open world stuff there. And uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Um, it's it's been fantastic. It's been a great single player game. Uh, then as well, BG3 with you. I'm a tiefling who's up to no good, and he doesn't care who gets in his way. I think it's really cool that you can have sort of three stories all happening at once. Um, it's it's been a lot of fun, and I look forward uh, to getting into it again this week. Yes, um, and let's all get thinking? fell in love with me finally. It's just like yes, up the middle of the night, you know, so a lot of action on this side. <laughs> yeah, we need we need to get into some more for sure. But yes, that is uh, what I've been gaming on this week. Look forward to getting into more of that again this week. I have a good lineup of games I'm really rolling with. Uh, so really enjoying my, my setup right now. Mm -hmm. That's good. Like, yes. Uh, I Like Final Fantasy VII, like amazing. Whenever you're done with the, uh, re like the rebirth, I don't know if you should jump onto the original. Um, because the original, then you're gonna go past the uh, the remake of all. No, the I could never. Oh well, my god! Well, that's the thing, right? Like the original <laughs> is all combined in one, right? It, but yeah, but I'll know where to stop. Yeah, I'll know where to. Yeah, stop. Yeah, yeah. You almost need like, oh, I know I'm here, and then the origin in the the game, like, I, like yeah, you almost need to make yourself stop. But like uh, the story. Uh, you gotta think like when when that game was created, it was like based on like a lot of imagination, a lot of reading. But like it was amazing, I, and I remember like when I played, I was like, "Wow, this game is amazing!" And now you're replaying and, it, but like with full yeah. graphics, it's like even better. So I, I I have a feeling that it's gonna be a shock when you finish Rebirth, but like I don't know where it's getting at in Rebirth. So yeah. <laughs> but yes, um, those are the games I've been playing. What's going on, Bet Cloud Gaming? Coming to the house. Hope you're doing yes. well, good sir. Um, awesome. Old man yells at Cloud. No, we'll, we'll change my <laughs> background to something nice. Uh, Nads, get into what we got for them next. Uh, we yes. got some Destiny 2 updates. We got some yes. Helldivers updates, as well as we're going to be getting into Dragon's Dogma. And what's happening there, as well as GOG and Luna. So, mm -hmm. pack in. We got a lot of cloud gaming news to go over. But uh, start us off here, Nance. Just to talk about Destiny 2, we had our live stream from the developer this week. <clears throat> Excuse me. On Tuesday, while the reset was happening, they were updating the uh, the server. And we had the, the developers showing us what's coming in April. Yes, that's right, in April. <laughs> so uh, we have this new um, like kind of gameplay. It's like almost like a tower defense. So you're basically going to the last city and defending uh, those area. You can buy. Uh, so by killing ads, you're getting those scrap. And by getting those scrap, you can start putting turrets. You can start putting different things. And as you can see on the screen, and like who's coming back. 
episodes going to be available with new roles. There's a lot going on in there. Uh, so they bring back some uh, weapon from the Leviathan. So I don't know how that's going to affect everything. How you're going to get it. Maybe it's going to be in the activity. But the name of the activity is the Onslaught. So Onslaught is a tower defense type of thing. Uh, you defend the area and you have wave of enemy coming at you. You got up to level 50 uh, if you play on the, uh, the we call it, they have like a challenging uh, game type where like the other one is like an open playlist to anyone. It goes up to 25, I think they were mentioning. So pretty cool. They added that. Uh, it's going to be in relation what's to come to uh, the final shape. So Into the Light, that's what's coming up in April. So quite exciting about that. We also have the um, Garden game finishing this week on Tuesday at reset. So we'll should see what's going to happen then. Uh, if you haven't had the chance, go get your all-star skimmer like I did. Uh, you got three ways to do it. So go for it. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much what's going on into the light. It's coming on soon. We got the next live stream coming up. Uh, I need to find the date, but I, I want to say it's next Tuesday. We got the next live stream, uh, March 26th. Yes, uh, next Tuesday, it's going to be the live stream, March 26th at 10 a.m. PT. Uh, they're going to talk about the Arsenal weapon, new social space. I, I'm guessing a new social space is going to be the, the old tower from Destiny 1. They finish it finally. I, that will be amazing if they do that. And then the uh, Destiny 2 Year 1 Inspire Armor and more. So I'm guessing everything from the Year 1 will come back and be available. So it's like they, they did that, uh, that move where like they sunset everything, but now they bring it back. But with better stuff so that should be quite interesting so keep a look out for it the live stream is on twitch if you watch it for a certain amount of time for the whole hour you can get the emblem some free emblem so pretty cool go uh, check so it can out. we do this survival mode right now no it's going to be available in april uh april okay what's the date for it and I'm looking for it. April and 9th. is it three or six or solo? It's three people. Three people, three people. PvE activity. Uh, okay. You can go. Yeah, we should with... get a group together and have some, yeah. have some fun, put up a stream of it. So look out uh, for that when, when we get to it. It gets like very hard. Stuff. On the challenging version, it gets very hard. Uh, they say it's going to be very hard to solo, but looking at Aster Cross video, he's like, all well, challenge accepted. On the day one, he's going to try to solo it. <laughs> I was right. like, okay. Uh, but like, as you level up, like through the challenge there, as it gets harder and stuff like that, you, you, you can maintain the upgrade on your turret. Let's say you buy a turret in place, put in place. Uh, if it survived the, the wave, then you can uh, upgrade that turret. And then like every wave, it just changed location. So right now it's like one of the PvP map, they change into uh, a PvE version so you can discover it. And then like you move around the map depending where that, uh, that thing you have to protect. I try to remember the name. It's kind of a bomb that the... Uh, the um, the pyramid ship put in place but yeah and you got like vex or um you got like all the enemy type but uh the um now i'm looking for the name of it uh the the dark one holy jeez the taken taken the um taken do, the, do you need to grind your character so do you need to get your level sorted before getting into this event do you need to be no, the highest level? the light level is not increasing it's staying at the same thing uh they so it'll be they minimum didn't, they didn't mention a minimum uh light level but they say 1800 uh, 1810 is a max now so 1800 to get in, that's not an issue, so quite interesting. There you go. You don't need to grind all right. at all. Uh, you just tag along, just jump in the, the uh, matchmaking playlist and you should be fine. 
and as you can see you can get some crate uh you get into the pyramid ship every six uh level so at 6 16 26 and so on uh where you gotta fight I'm surprised the they didn't do seven i know right that is kind of weird but like they decide to switch it to six but yeah seven will make sense uh but yeah they love seven <laughs> i know right it's a lucky number but yeah, that's what's going on. Go check out their live stream. It should still be should be on their YouTube also uh, and in their Twitch channel. But yeah, that's what it is going on with Destiny 2. Uh, quite interesting. But moving on well, to uh, something. Let's pull out for liberty and democracy. Yes. Yeah, so here's a gameplay of you playing in the background. Uh, oh, on our oh my god, game. I am ridiculously good looking. Oh my god, look yeah, at that. Yeah, look at this. Uh, <laughs> look at that hair. hair. Amazing, right? <laughs> so what's going on into L Divers? We had some patch update that came up this week. Um, so one of the big thing they had to fix with the Exo 45 Patriot Exo suit. So, uh, GameStat UI and general stability, some a, a fix they had to do is that if you were turning and shooting the rocket, you were exploding. So that's maybe why we're dying so often at the beginning. <laughs> so they fixed that issue of turning and shooting. You're not supposed to do that apparently. So, uh, good to know. Um, but yeah, the other thing was the uh, balance improvement on the planet. Uh, Azard like uh, uh, thing happening, you know. Yeah, you remember the uh, meteorite shower? You were getting killed all the time by them. Uh, so they they made it so they don't appear as often. There's a rotation out of them, and it's not as crazy. So it's a good thing they changed that. Uh, they reduced some of the explos uh, the explosion radius of the meteor shower. Uh, the volcanic activity, I don't think I've seen that. Have you seen the volcanic activity? I've only seen tremors. So maybe mm -hmm. that's what they're talking about, but not volcanoes erupting or like lava coming out. I've, I've seen fire tornadoes. We came close to a couple of those. No, uh, but they no. talk about uh, the reduced explosion radius also in Rockville City so slightly. So maybe it looks like meteor shower also. Oh no, meteor shower, you could see it. I don't know. Maybe uh, it depends on the map you go on, on which planet you go on. So quite interesting they did that. They did also some uh, a little bit of fixing on, you know, people um, having patrol spawning on the player, right? I think we've seen that a couple of times. So they reduce this or reduce this incident to happen. Also, they, uh, they fix uh, some issue where people are all tabbing out of the game from full screen and the, the game will crash. And then some boot issue on PlayStation 5. So uh, there's a couple things there. You can go on the patch note update on their Discord and they release the information every time they release something. So they also work on the friend invite and crossplay. Uh, as we can see, there's still not we need that completely, uh but they've been working on that they tried to uh fix some of the issue i think i still have n7 and uh, uh oh my gosh on like on the wait like pending uh friendly a friend invite type of thing but yeah it's just crazy uh they also did some update on the eagle kills uh, that uh, not showing their proper number, uh, the mission completion, uh, that uh, not counting twice per mission, so something like uh, maybe adding or something. Um, they also fix a different thing about the galactic war, not tracking your effective spread of liberty properly. Uh, yeah, they keep fixing thing and just popping it up on their discord little things there and there so issue with like some people like player freezing uh experiencing freezing in the game i haven't experienced that but uh <laughs> they advise to against using the arc tower arc shotgun and tesla tower 
So David, stop using that. Uh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't He's add that issue. with the Tesla. I it's going to help but... us, guy, or how he says it. It's going to help us, mates. Yeah, yeah. And then you, you're like, oh my God, what killed me, David? Your, Ar your, your Tesla towers just killed me. <laughs> oh, that's funny. But yes, that's what's going on in L Diver. Uh, like, pretty amazing game, I think. Like, it, it's a lot of fun every time we play. Yes, we die a lot, but that's part of the game, I think. <laughs> yes. Let's well, talk about. Well, apparently it's bugged. Well, it is bugged, yeah. But like, it, it, it's well, like any game. Uh, a lot of the game are bugs. And they release it like this. But they fix it but like you know you can't go to a planet and kill a lot of them maybe that's gonna fix it right <laughs> well let's get into what's going on in the g-force now right now and so let me bring up their blog so we can discuss uh the games they've got going on since last thursday uh here be dragons and dragon's dogma 2 comes to g-force now let's go uh dragon's dogma has caught the attention of so many people it's really trending in what's happening and what people are playing you can see numerous amounts of videos of people having so much fun in this sandbox and uh yep. you can do it now in and this is what i wanted to highlight and why GeForce Now is an important tool in playing this game. So say your computer's got minimum specs, but you still want to play high fidelity, high settings, ultra settings. You want to experience fog on the battlefield. Yeah. You still want to see that cloud gaming is going to help you fill that gap that you have on old hardware that only meets minimum specs or even less than min minimum specs. Say you got a Surface and you're not sure what to do with this surface it's not really a gaming rig geforce now creates it into a high performing gaming rig so exactly. these are really options that you need to take advantage of if you're interested in giving this old hardware new life and uh it's out there um geforce now is an excellent option to run this on 4k 60 fps now the game itself is not going to run in 60 FPS, and we'll get into that later. <laughs> but you have the option when they updated to do that. Uh, yeah. Coming up next, we have Battlefield Season 7 Turning Point. So this was introduced last week, as well as Alone in the Dark. So be sure to check out these games and the new season of Battlefield. I know I'm missing Battlefield got into it every monday with spg hopefully that comes back into rotations oh, yes. uh it is a fun huge battleground which you can just jump into a scrimmage with your friends and ai and and just have a good time and along uh, the dark is a good game i'm like oh you played it or check i played it before i haven't played a new version so that's like a they kind of remade the uh, along the dark series i guess so uh, a really cool, like it's like a horror type of game. So like, probably not the type of game you like, but it's like a lot of fun. I can tell you that. Uh, like it's an amazing game. It's so good that they we may get and make it even better. So. Oh, that's cool. Thanks for the insight. Uh, let's jump into what's been going on in the world of Dragon's Dogma. So if you could pull up uh the footage yes that we have so dragon's dogma is experiencing um some issues and capcom has responded to the criticism of dragon dogma's two p paid dlcs and performance issues so you'll want to you know hold up Perhaps if you want to run it at the highest fidelity, if you want all those frame rates, what Capcom is saying here is that they know it's an issue and they're going to address it. Now, if you look at the gameplay here, um, he actually was able to set it to 60 FPS um, at 2K 
um, resolution on his local rig. However, it wasn't a steady at 60 FPS, uh, but he did... Uh, I thought the gameplay looked smooth. Uh, it was able to play. It stays above 30, which to me, you know, is playable. But at this time, if you want that full 4K 60 FPS, uh, even on a GeForce Now rig, I think you're going to have to wait for some certain updates. Um, they're saying that the game is heavily CPU uh, intensive because the each character is calculating the impacts of their physical presence in a variety of areas in certain situation where numerous characters appear simultaneously the cpu usage can be very high and affects the frame rate uh so yeah. these are situations uh, that i and i point back to geforce now because i feel like this is where a cloud solution could really I feel needs to take some of this offloading or be built into games to really uh, a lot of games today are always connected online, right? Diablo, yeah. Diablo, Destiny 2, um, we're getting used to game constantly being connected online. I think being online can also start to do some heavy lifting and boost the performance of local hardware. And I know that may be a pie in the sky dream, but you know that's what i'm thinking this game is is missing but they'll have to optimize on the software um bef in a new patch which they they say they're working on mm -hmm. all right so there's definitely a lot of improvement needs to be done like looking at myself i was like quite excited to try the game but the price of it i'm like oof uh it was it's 95 dollars canadian for us so I don't know what's in ouch USD. yes uh if you get it on how, how is that is that more than full price yeah usually like uh, a game will come out 80 dollars, but this one's like a little bit more uh maybe because there's like a lot of uh expectation uh, uh people were excited for it so they thought like people were ready to chip in more but i'm, I'm gonna wait that it comes on sale before jumping into that game because that's quite expensive for for us canadian hundred dollars yeah per game? I, I like feels, the last time oh, feels geez. more expensive than a regular price game yeah like are you I, sure that's not the deluxe version no the deluxe is a hundred and something on steam i i can't tell you that uh because yeah. i feel like final fantasy 7 was less than that and that was a full uh, price. They, 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 uh, yeah, I know it's on sale right now. Uh, so you can get it cheaper to other third party uh, plays. Like online. CD keys? Yeah, like uh, G2A, um, CD keys, and stuff like that. Like, But like it's 70 bucks, $85. But if you go directly to. Uh, the Steam website is ninety four ninety nine, and if you want to go the deluxe edition is one hundred nine ninety nine. So a like Canadian, I'm just confirming it's Canadian, uh, which is quite expensive. I try to, if I do the conversion in American dollar USD, it was like maybe eighty five dollars. Yeah, that seems more expensive than regular it, releases. It's a quite expensive game. Uh, don't get me wrong, like, cost of living has increased. I'm pretty sure that game costs a lot for Capcom to create. Uh, they try to make it, like, so good. Uh, but, like, yes, I think they had a lot of issue at launch. Like, like you mentioned, a couple issue there. There's been some people going around saying like, oh, if you want to maximize your game, just kill all the NPCs. It's like, okay, right. You almost need to make sure you don't kill them and, and then you have a quest later for them. I don't know. Uh, it's just like quite interesting that they have that. But yeah, I, I don't know what people think. Like, is it worth it to jump into it now or wait until we come on sale um but wish to see right so maker says here uh one thing i found out is that you can't even use the fast travel dlc until you unlock the item that you need to buy in game to teleport to waystones because there is microtransactions because the dlc is just one waypoint 
Um, you need a fairy stone to teleport to the waystones. I mean, that's a complicated yeah. situation. I guess so you need to understand that to be in game. And so then the last thing he says, and I found out that like nine of the listed DLCs with the deluxe edition. So there's nine DLCs listed for this game. So the DLC, uh, what you meant by that, they like it, the additional content, right? So sometimes it could be cosmetic or anything like that that you can buy up. And I like oh, I think he stuff. mentioned that in the download, but like he was like, oh, it's a couple uh, quid for like. It's, so it might be like five dollar for DLC or something like that, right? So a, a oh, okay. could be interesting. You can like go and buy specific DLC, uh, which is like attached to the game. Is it worth it? Well, it depends. If you don't want to waste your time like running through the story, you can probably like go ahead and just like, well, I'm I'm just gonna like get it right away. Or you can just follow the story. And get all those detail, uh, all those uh, DLC type of thing. Uh, but I'm pretty sure some of them, like I think, if you buy the deluxe, you have like a uh, specific weapon that's a bit more powerful, might be worth it for a start. Uh, but yeah, yeah, it seems to me that it just the micro transactions are just essentially what you get with the deluxe version. And if you want, you can buy a piece from piece, like yeah, exactly. a la carte. Yeah. Um, so like, if Capcom the goes. Yeah. If you look at the difference in price from the the uh, normal version to the uh, deluxe version, it's about fifteen dollars. So you can go and pick and choose. Maybe I, I'm looking in Canadian dollar again. Uh, it might be like one or two dollar per expansion or something. So who knows? I think somebody said two dollars when they looked at it. So that would make sense. Yeah. So it's, it's a bit like, cheaper if you just get the deluxe off the bat. Yeah. Um, Maybe there's but like Capcom... Price. Sorry, go ahead. Capcom went on to say, um, we are aware that in such situations, settings that may reduce the GPU load may currently have a limited effect. However, we're looking into ways to improve performance in the future. So this goes on to say that they're making a patch for Dragon's Dogma 2 that will be able to enhance for like the performance. And it said it's looking to introduce a feature that enables Drag Dragon's Dogma 2 players to restart the game on Steam. <laughs> uh, we'll announce more details as soon as we can. So that actually comes on launch. You cannot start a new game. You, you make one character and that's, that's your the, character in the game so they just well, like uh, specify on steam so does that mean like on the playstation 5 or xbox version you can hopefully create a uh, recreate a character or is maybe like they'll steam this is what i hope doesn't happen <laughs> is that you have to purchase you know new characters and new instances in a game however i do not think that's the case I just, I just hope that, you know, it's a situation, say you make some choices, but you, you really wanted to do something else and you can't unkill NPCs in this game. So you start a brand new game. Well, you can't do that in this. So, uh, hopefully they create an update that's coming soon. Uh, I think it's just, it's just the state of games we see it in today is that a lot of games, they don't they release with bugs and patches because the scope is so much larger than it was, you know, so long ago, 10 years exactly. ago. Uh, and you gotta look it's at just the size grown of astronomical. Yeah, you you look at the size of game. They're like 100 gig or something like that. Uh, like, and we're talking in gig, right? Like where like 10 years ago, we we're talking maybe oh, a gig was a, a big thing, right? It was like more in megs, uh, like now the texture the quality is higher so the there's less uh there's more uh more like uh, a chance for error for every time they release a game and then like that's why they're relying a lot on gameplay on players to find all those little bugs like uh, I try to remember there was like a game they were showing like some oh no it was like an Elden Ring or a Soul a Soul um what a soul uh, game where like you hit the specific wall and you enter this chamber but if you hit like 
that wall five times, the door open and you can access it. And it was like a developer room or something like that. But like, it's like, who went around and hit random wall for five times? Like, uh, you know what I mean? So it's like, who does that? Well, you know, in the previous days, like you could like join a, a team just to play, try the video game. And all you had to do is hit the wall so many times. You were not testing the game by running the gameplay or the story. You're just hitting the wall all the time. Well, now they reduce the cost by just releasing in the beta or something like releasing the game and saying we can do a patch update later on. So I see that way, right? So it's just like a very demanding for a company, a publisher to say like, oh, yeah, we'll release it on this date. And it's not really complete, but that's all right. We can release patch updates. So it's an easy way. And, right? and Maker, I'm not saying that they're going to make you pay for a new save. I'm just saying that I hope this isn't a, a trend moving forward where they do create an instance where you are paying for new saves. Um, I definitely just don't want that to be a situation. Obviously, they've addressed it here in the article and they say they are adding a new game so you can start on over. Um, and to be honest, I'm not somebody who starts a game over. Uh, I'll, I'll play that character all the way through and into New Game Plus and just, like you said, change your character how he looks or respec him. Unless uh, but, yeah. it's a very good game and you want to start over a new character. I've done that before. right if you look at May, the yeah so there game. are there are gamers who have done that and and say me I'm gonna go through and you know not really care how many NPCs get it from Rudix's you know situation so yeah. if I want to play that game more pacifist and get to talk to people then I'd have to start a new game um Wilson says it would be the first game that does but usually when games offer that it's MMORPGs with extra character slots and that's yeah. true said yeah mmorpgs are um do do that already uh, i just hope that doesn't enter the single player space i'd hate for that wow. to be the situation uh maker says it could definitely be worse the new yakuza game requires paying for dlc for new game plus now i heard you say that that is insane to pay for new game plus i mean that <laughs> should be handed no. to you as as a reward it's the only thing we as gamers get anymore is new game plus we used to we used to unlock character skins new characters new levels just by being good at the game and finding secrets but no all that's taken away and we have to pay for it nowadays the only thing we get is new game plus with increased difficulty for free so i i, I definitely think they should not make you pay for that I have a feeling that's that my rant. they're going to come up with this update where you can create a new game and then someone in the mod community already came out with it. Uh, so if you go on the Nexus mod page, there's already mods for that game. Because it's a single player, it's like Skyrim and those type of game, you can download mods on it uh, to fix some of the, 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 the game issue. Uh, there's like some that uh, reshade uh, some of the um for the texture um uh, <laughs> launcher automatic save backup uh, there you go if you play on pc you can back up your save then go back and erase them all to restart it uh there's some translator faster run like yeah <laughs> like i'm pretty sure you can what? find all the muds already to fix a lot of the issue in the game Shout out to Kelson in the house. Oh my hey, gosh. Kelson. Destiny 2 Trials. Oh my gosh, know. this guy. Sharpshooter for days. He can't miss. Oh my gosh. What up, Kelson? Hope you're doing well. Yes. Uh, he sent me a link of his uh, webpage where like they explain uh, like some guide on different game. There was like a good guide for his Son of the Forest. Uh, he sent me that. I was like pretty impressed with it pretty cool Sweet. uh yeah it's like a, a website that you can access easily and i need to now that i mentioned that freaking find it yeah we'll promote it in the in the link in the chat Elson, sure, let me, uh, put in the chat uh the name of the website 
I don't know if people can put links in there, but uh, or the name of the website. Yeah, Just we can the name and sure. I'll put the link or something. But let's uh, let's jump into some uh, some other cloud gaming news. Oh my gosh, it always puts me little and on the bottom. Uh, yeah, there you go. Not very nice. Not very nice. <laughs> uh, but but I want to say thank you to uh, Wibble Sniff for that gameplay for uh, yes the, uh, Dragon Dogma. Uh, Wibble Sniff is a friend of the channel. He's always live streaming in the morning for us Eastern folk. Um, so if you want to check out his game stream, his link is in the description. So shout out to Wibble Sniff. Um, and yes, we go on. So GOG announces a new partnership with Amazon Luna. So the big shout out on uh, on the airwaves was that Luna is now receiving 1,000 games uh, and the library was going to be stacked. However, that's not necessarily the case. Uh, the games have to opt in to Luna to be playable. And it is a bring your own game type of situation where you have to own the games on GOG to be playable on Luna. Uh, and only certain games have entered the partnership. Yeah. So, C Cyberpunk, The Witcher series, Stardew Valley, um, these are games not currently playable on the Amazon Luna platform. Uh, is that a notable example mentioned in the articles? Okay, so those are not playable so it's just a small list of stuff and it's slowly being released so things you would think would be on there are not necessarily there uh but you gotta be able to check it out to see it firsthand if you are a luna um partner and you're able to check this out because you are a subscriber uh it's great to see that your gog subscription is accessible through luna uh, buckle up, boys, if you think this MTX is egregious. These things are the norm now, and it'll get worse. No one has time to machine to go back and punch Bethesda for $5 horse armor. Oh, my gosh. Yes, oh, I SPG. Remember that. I remember yeah, that. I'm sure Oblivion. you do. <laughs> Oblivion. It was like, oh, yeah, get that DLC, $5. It's like, and then... It's like Dragon's Dogma right now. It's just like Bethesda did it like way back. It was like a DLC that just gave you a horse armor, and everybody was like, "What the hell, right?" But yeah, it did happen. It did happen. That's um, craziness. I just posted uh, the the link for the website there, eip.gg. Just go check it out if you're looking for some guide on uh, some of our recent games. Wicked. So, um, and we are, so here's the official quote um, from the board of PlayOn, who had this to say in regards to the announcement. We are excited to provide our customers with more choice and flexibility in how to play with Luna and GOG. We see an opportunity to get our games in front of new audiences of gamers and tap into Amazon's reach across Fire TV, ta tablets, Twitch, and Prime Gaming. Uh, so it's pretty cool to see that uh, they're getting more outreach through the Amazon. I feel like it'll be a plug on very similar to GeForce now. Uh, and I wonder what they'll do in terms of Twitch integration with GOG. So that'll be interesting to see. No, I, it's kind of funny looking at Amazon, uh, Amazon Luna and the way they progress things. It was like, oh, it's better. We just go in the cloud service because there's like money to be made in that service. And it's slowly expanding. Uh, but like, it's just like, it, it's it's kind of weird. It's like completely the opposite what Stadia did. Stadia went all in and like, make it happen if after so many uh so many months we're not making money then it's out amazon's like oh we're just gonna pitch in a little bit and see how it goes and eventually expand look at their website amazon was selling only books before now you can buy any kind of things in there sometimes better where you can buy the store so it's like it just evolved from there right so i think uh, amazon has the right uh game plan there for that uh, they're heading towards the right direction. I tried uh, Amazon Luna recently. 
and <laughs> and uh, it wasn't working great. Um, but I'm ready to try it again, uh, test it out. Maybe uh, next week, if you play some Fortnite, you need a player. I can jump in with uh, Fortnite on Luna, test it out. Yes, um, we will have to check that out. Um, definitely some Fortnite this week, uh, so watch out for that. Now let's get into a little bit of some Xbox news for those cloud gamers that are using that Xbox. Uh, Game Pass is getting seven new cloud games in March. Second wave. Uh, so we got F123, The Quarry, which is, uh, that one was supposed to come to Stadia. And we'll be soon starting to say, you know, stop being able to say that was coming to Stadia eventually. Uh, <laughs> we have Evil West. Uh, Hot Wheels Unleashed 2, Open Roads, all of these accessible on the cloud, so that's good to see. Um, listen, I have a bone to pick with Mind Control Delete, all right? Here's, here's what doesn't make sense to me. Honestly, one of the most enjoyable VR experiences is Super Hot. It is an amazing game that takes advantage of VR mechanics. Yeah, They create a DLC, and they do not make it VR. <laughs> Why? I, uh, it just it boggled my mind. I think... Uh, I, I, I still think VR is at the beginning of things. Like, not everybody experienced it. It's like cloud gaming. Only so many people put their hands on it. Uh, I think it's like a slow uh, thing that eventually is going to get better. Looking at like now Apple having their AR slash VR headset, everybody's like, oh, this is amazing. It's like it's a new technology, but it came out before. It just like Apple decided to release something like that. Uh, I feel like it's just like, exposing it more out there making the headset lighter like you know like you wear like the the quest two for like an hour and two or like it it, it feel after a while it's like okay i'm tired of having this mountain my face like if they couldn't make it lighter the toaster on your face yeah you look at the x real uh x2 whatever uh, pro they call it it's like there's some glasses you wear and you can have uh the screen like it but they're more ar glasses and vr uh, I think we get to merge it eventually, so it's going to be VR slash AR. Uh, so you're going to be able to do both of them onto the game. Uh, but eventually they're going to yeah. do that, right? But uh, going back to the Game Pass list, the one I'm looking for is Diablo 4. Is that me? Right, I'm going to be so able to play on G4 now. <laughs> it's coming to, to PC and console. Um, and so we have, I believe, GeForce Now plug-in for Steam on GeForce Now. We haven't seen the Xbox One from what I know. Uh, maybe pulling that up and checking it out right yeah, now. Yeah, that's uh, but, but yes, uh, so these games are coming out for Game Pass. If you're a Game Pass user, you'll be able to take advantage in the cloud on your TV or on your devices um diablo 4 because i'm curious how can you access this on geforce now BattleNet and steam so oh, yeah. not not xbox it's so perhaps it'll be wonder... it. that's my prediction for this month uh -huh. i believe the apple vision pro is around the same weight as the quest what really all right let's fact oh. uh, fact check that maker are you talking about quest Three, right then you maybe quest, quest three yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's the like the quest two is uh quite heavy i found yeah. uh but quest three they made it lighter i think every time they're gonna make it lighter it's all about comfort right because after a while like if you're a person that sweat from your face a lot if you do anything like exercising i'm a runner and every time i run i it sweat from my face so do oh I wow the quest 3 two? is lighter oh yeah it is i i have the weight of the quest 2 pretty much right um it is 
three ounces lighter. Okay. Well, it's lighter. It's and the quest lighter. two, it's it's the quest three is heavier than the quest two. The quest two what? is seventeen point seven ounces. It's even lighter. Oh my god! Really? So they're getting heavier with the design nads after quest two. Uh, they have to make it more powerful. Like all I need yeah. is a pair of headset that you put on that connect to my computer and let my computer do everything. Or even better, get it on the cloud. Like, yes, what happened with cloud that? VR I that was coming on on there. Like, have everything. From what I know, cloud. if if you are a VR user and you want to use cloud, the only way to do that is via Shadow. Oh really? Shadow PC. Uh, you can do cloud gaming VR uh, via the cloud. So that is the option I know of of to cloud game in VR. However, there's no cloud gaming VR headset on the market. Uh, however, that may be something that uh, consumers should probably be looking into and, and technology people should be looking into. Um, but it's cool ideas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. GeForce Now on uh, headset. There you go. Playing VR game. Let's... <laughs> we got distracted Let's, there. <laughs> uh, oh my! Why? There we go. I, I did. I did. <laughs> well, let's uh, let's get into uh, our clips of the week before. Yes. Uh, what have you? Uh, what have you got? You've got a couple going on here. I think I got to upload mine here. Um, the the first one is basically me um just showing off in some uh some of the forest uh so he at the some point you get the night four which is basically uh a unicycle is it, it's like one wheel uh you stand on it's electric uh and i'm just flying off with this and yeah let's see here <laughs> yeah, That's it's fun. kind of fun to to go around with it. it. Goes so fast, very hard to control, very hard to control. You kind of find a way over time, but yeah. Uh, the other two clip is just showing my base, uh, what I've developed and what I'm working on. So let's start with this one here. But this is like Great. the first base I created. I just like try to put it together and this is what I'm working on now. So yes, I have the structure built and try to figure out how I want it and probably the end result is going to be a little bit better, but I'm like, it's resource demanding because I need a lot of rocks yeah. or a lot of stones, a lot of wood, and it's very demanding on that sense. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. You can get distracted for hours, just like building around. It, it's one of the fun part about this game. Or about any survival game is about the building part. It's like putting piece by piece, right? So yeah, it's like building something with Lego. Always a big fan of Lego, but yeah, that that's how it looks like. It can <laughs> be fun. Your clip. <laughs> let's get into uh, let's get into these clips. Live up to your name. Live up 
too. <laughs> so you didn't know what that was leading up to. But as soon as it landed, you knew that was the perfect landing. <laughs> right on, right on. Right oh, on. Kelson's got. I don't kill each other, right? <laughs> I know. You could even tell he was glitched out. The game didn't know what to do. He was like lower than the than me getting out of there. So it's it uh, funny. funny. Uh, Kelson's uh, got some interior designing tips for you uh, know, on your yeah. house, though. I, I need to. Uh, more. Yeah, the frame is there. I just need to build the wall and put the furniture. But yes, I'm trying to avoid using any command. So uh, yeah, it's a lot more demanding. So I'm using a lot oh, of those lines. There's a way just to produce materials. That's yeah, nice. you just command prompt it and just like have logs, infinite logs type of thing. So but I'm trying to go everything by and uh, my character is as the um, the strength is 42. So it means like it's almost like a level uh, way. So as you right. look, uh, as you increase that, you chop three faster and stuff like that. So, but yeah, I'm trying well, to let's do everything out. without command prompt. <laughs> <laughs> My next clip um, yeah. and see what it's about because I forgot why I put it here. The terminal. Help Omar, clear the area. <laughs> Oh so, my god, you clipped You see, I got stuck. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I was okay. like, I'm trying to get out. No, I need to get out. No, I need to get out. And Your then I was like, bomb. Oh my god. I just accepted my fate and I watched the countdown. <laughs> yeah, I thought it. it's like because you went to the to ignition it. And then it kind of flips you inside the building. Then you're like, ah, fuck, I'm stuck here. You almost <laughs> yep. need to find something else. Yeah. Oh, well. No, nope, I was fun. I was screwed. So that's funny. And then as soon as you saw me clipped and the hell bomb counting down, you knew what was going to happen. Yeah. He's uh, like, oh, my God. Might, might as well look at the counter. <laughs> And then uh, uh, finally, just to show off, this will be the next one I'm looking on. Maker, I don't want to give you any spoils. So Maker of Chaos, avert your eyes. Do not look at this. It's not too spoilery. You may have known it was coming. But uh, boom. Nice. You're flying off with the Chocobo, right? So yeah, funny. so I like how that's framed, a nice flying, you know, you're, you got your whole crew there. What's funny is, if you look, there is a robotic cat riding a chocobo, a flying chocobo, and there's a dog full-on sitting there with his paws <laughs> like this, like a human riding the dog, riding the chocobo. Uh, there was, like, a, one of the stream, you're like, Rex is, like, uh, is it? No, not Rex. Red. 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 It's riding the chocobo when you start getting a chocobo. Yeah. Like, you can't ride it? Like, what, what the hell? Like, why not? Yeah. <laughs> and so... he climbs up walls and, and gets down walls. And oh, yeah, that, that was the other <laughs> thing. He was climbing. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah. They, they had to uh, make it, like, fit in the old thing. But, yeah. That's good. Well, that reaches the end of this episode. A. Thank you, everyone, for coming on by, hanging out with us as we discuss everything in cloud gaming as well as some more. I uh, hope you enjoyed listening to our discussion uh, on the most exciting games of our time, and you found it both informative and entertaining. And as always, we appreciate your support. Encourage you to like and subscribe to our podcast. We'll be back at the same time next week. So look out for us and uh thanks everyone for coming on by you've been epic um and this has been great awesome thank you all for joining in and make sure you hit the like and subscribe button for more of our video and like just help us right uh, it's pretty amazing exactly. we have a good community here uh 
Tomorrow we're gonna be Dabbing. playing some L divers, so jump in, uh, come in and watch us up. Yeah, that's awesome. We're gonna be blowing up bugs for democracy. Actually, we may go on to automatons because there's an update right now making bugs like crazy spawn rates. But uh, <laughs> all that and more tomorrow. Take care. Have a good week. Thanks for hanging out. <laughs> Take care, all. But it's sick as